this was so funny. See, manifesting my husband was intentional, but also kind of accidental at the same time. <laughs> so let me just get into the story. There are two backstories that you need to know first. It's important to know that this all really started with these two backstories. So I'll go ahead and start there, but I'll keep it brief. I'll have a full video on the details of these two events uh, that you can watch right here on YouTube. But for now, I'll just give you the synopsis. Story number one, the last heartbreak I ever had. This heartbreak happened in April of 2019. I was seeing a guy on and off for several years, like a lot of years. <laughs> we got along great, liked a lot of the same things, had great chemistry, but finally after a fun trip together I, I finally shot my shot you know <laughs> i suggested we try for a relationship and he flat out was like nah i'm good and i was like i know he didn't just say that i know i didn't just embarrass myself not to mention this was happening at a terrible time for me to experience this and the reason why is in the full video about this so be sure to watch it now i did bounce back and it made me realize quite a few very important lessons, which I also share in that video. One lesson that I will share with you now is that it made me think about what did I really want and also why did I want it? See, I wanted that relationship because it seemed right. I didn't take any time to really look at him and choose him. What I chose was the idea of a relationship based on time invested. And that is a big mistake. So let me know if you want me to do a video about that because I call it quantity sabotage syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Let me know if you want a video on that one because yeah, that's going to be crazy. Okay, backstory number two. I had something so brief, child. It wasn't even a flame, child. It was a flip. <laughs> this was September of 2020 and I was affiliated with a company. I was a rising leader there with my sales and marketing skills. And that just so happened to catch the eye of another leader also affiliated with this company who was extremely successful, wealthy. I'm talking multiple seven figures. We were basically contracted to work with this company to increase their customer base. Anyway, he asked me out a couple times. Um, the first time I didn't even realize he had asked me on a date date. And so I did something crazy. <laughs> But I had to share the details in that other video. Anyway, after literally a couple of dates, I just felt like something was off. See, I have been working on myself and growing and my discernment at this point was much better than the year before from the first backstory I told you, you know? So you see, even though he seemed nice and he was smart, he was funny, he was wealthy, he was successful, he was attentive, something was off. I knew it. I just couldn't place it. So I prayed about it. <laughs> and what I prayed, I highly recommend that every woman prays this prayer for her own sanity and protection from heartbreak because it is a powerful prayer and it works. I'll share that prayer with you in the detailed video about all of this. So when I tell you this prayer was powerful, child, within 24 hours, I discovered what the issue was. He was lying about a lot of things. So I was able to avoid having a Risa Tisa experience, thank God, <laughs> because girl, he was seeing several women all while hosting morning calls about the Lord and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, it was at that point that a couple of friends of mine said something that confirmed something that God had suggested to me as well. Have you ever thought to sit down and get clear on exactly what it is you want? See, although I had been growing and improving, it hadn't occurred to me to choose what I wanted for my love life. So I did. I did a manifesting technique called scripting, which I actually learned from my daughter. I then prayed. And as I was praying, I remembered the scripture, write the vision and make it plain. So there's my connection with scripting. And you know what? I had only done that for things, never for a relationship or a husband. Okay, so here's my actual scripting notebook from back then. Ooh, you won't believe what's in these pages, child. Then I started learning what the Bible says about marriage that I learned from my pastor, Joseph Prince. I'll leave a link in the description box to that actual video. 
And I'll probably also do my own video on it to show you how I applied those teachings to let God prepare me for marriage. Little did I know, God already placed me in front of my husband-to-be months ago. My husband actually found me here on YouTube. <laughs> the full story of that is in another video. That's why you got to subscribe, see? He had contracted me to work with his business back in late November, early December of 2019. So we had a strictly business relationship and it was always only online, even though he only lived about 20, 25 minutes away from me. Now, I thought he was attractive, but I made myself believe that he was already taken, made up a whole story and everything, child, so I would not cross that line and flirt. <laughs> so after about 10 or 11 months of working together and cracking each other up because we had the same sense of humor, he suggested that we meet for a quick lunch. Well, that lunch turned into five hours of talking about our business and aspirations and I even ended up showing him a tour taking him on a tour of a neighborhood that I was thinking of moving to that had my dream home floor plans and that's when I realized hmm there's something to this guy there was something there there was a spark there yeah I was so glad when he offered to take me out for another lunch in a few days <laughs> but this time we both knew it would be a date not just colleagues hanging out that afternoon lunch date turned into a 13 hour date <laughs> and again it was deep conversations bearing our souls to each other with no shame and nothing to hide there was no s e no hugging no holding hands we never touched and you know what the more he talked and opened up the more i realized he was the guy in my scripting pages he was the guy that god was arranging for me to meet when I tell you that God does exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think, baby, God did that, okay? <laughs> now, granted, my husband, Sonny, did not have as much as that super wealthy guy yet, <laughs> but shoot, I make my own damn money, jail, and that wasn't the main thing that I was looking for. I wanted something deeper. I cared about qualities in a man more than I cared about coin. And as long as he had ambition and most of all, a genuine relationship with Jesus, I knew that he'd be destined for success anyway because of that. What I looked forward to in a marriage was building something together as opposed to being brought in to his money. You know what I mean? So not only does God do exceedingly, abundantly, above, all that you can ask or think he's also not bound by time sunny and i knew there was something special there so we made a commitment just days after that date two weeks later we were looking at rings trail <laughs> and when we went into the jewelers they thought that we had been together for about three years and we were like no just a few weeks their jaws dropped honey they dropped <laughs> So yeah, we started dating October 15th of 2020. By January 15th, he proposed. We had set a date for May 15th of 2021, but we kept moving it up. We were just so excited to start our life together. The kids loved him, which was one major requirement for me to even think about being in something serious with a guy. See, I hadn't had any guy that I was dating around my kids. And honestly, I had planned to keep it like that because I didn't think I was going to get married. <laughs> my family loved him. And that was a first that everybody all liked somebody that I was with, you know. I mean, Sonny just fit right into our lives so well. And I felt a love for him that honestly, I have never felt for anyone before. This was just right. So we got our marriage license February 17th and child, the next thing you know, we decided to tie the knot just two days after my 41st birthday, 2 21, 21 was our wedding date. It was extremely private and meaningful. And that was intentional because one thing about our relationship is how sacred it is for both of us. I was never sure if I wanted some big wedding anyway. I mean, it just costs so much. I'd rather own property to make us some money, child. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but 
our wedding was beautiful and I'm glad we did it that way. I of course had my dad's blessing and he passed on the honor of giving me away to his only grandson, my son. And I figured my dad would just give me away at our five year anniversary when we were gonna renew our vows. But my dad recently passed on to be with the Lord. And it's okay though, because my dad is still a part of this amazing journey to marriage that I was on. And I'm forever grateful for him and his influence and impact on my life because, you know, he showed me every day what a real man was. A man of honor, a man of his word, a man of God's word, loving, strong, patient. And my dad was very proud of Sonny for how much he loves me. So yeah, it is super important to be extremely clear on what you want. And not just with looks, not just with whether he got a call or some money, because people can lose that. It's their character. I'm so glad that I wrote the vision and made it plain and prayed because that's when God led me to sermons and lessons. And even those men who came before Sonny let me know that God is not a God of lack. There's no such thing as a one and only perfect match or a person who is made for you. No, no, it's your choice who you pick from the selection of men that God will appoint for you. And it's discernment that will help you make the best choices and you receiving God's protection and wisdom so that you can avoid the headaches and the red flags. And I am very grateful for it all because those tears were temporary after all. I really hope this has helped you because I get so tired of seeing women being given the craziest advice about dating, relationships, love, and marriage. So I'll definitely do more videos that go into more details about certain parts of my experience with God grooming me for a healthy love and a healthy marriage. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a minute of this juicy tea child, okay? <laughs> And if nothing else, make sure you visit my website or take a peek at my description box because I have some awesome goodies in there, like the Me, Myself, Then Us journal. It's all about self-love before getting involved in any relationships. It'll help you gain clarity on your desires, discover new sides of yourself to appreciate and cherish, and feel liberated and encouraged to share who you truly are with your partner. Plus, it'll help you develop stronger standards and create boundaries that protect your heart and your soul. Another great resource is a short-term expert-guided virtual mentorship program, or as I like to call them, an experience called the Soulmate Attraction Experience. It's a wonderful and practical six-week love manifestation program. It includes a companion guide filled with over 80 pages of guided exercises, affirmations, and techniques this guide is designed to align your energy and intentions with attracting your soulmate. And trust me, if I could manifest a husband in just four months and six days with what's inside here, uh, hello, why can't you also successfully elevate your love life? In addition, right now, that soulmate attraction experience is bundled inside of my best life bundle, along with three more of my most popular resources to help you elevate your lifestyle in all the areas that I talk about here on my channel, life, love, family, and finances. So check my description box for the link to find out how to get that $357.96 resource for just seven bucks. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.